Hello, welcome to the new video from City Ink Express. Today we're going to be fitting the continuous ink system uh, on the Epson printer. It's the Epson XP225. So at the moment this is a brand new printer uh, just taken out of the box. It's had its set-up cartridges put in uh, just to set it up and now we're going to install the system. So it's really straightforward to do uh, on this model. Uh, very, very few clips and clamps. So I'm just going to move the camera to one side. So the first thing you need to do, you'll have already filled and primed your continuous ink system. Uh, you need to get your cartridge bay over to the middle. So if you take your cartridges out and then power the printer on, it will come over into the middle. And then taking your accessory pack or your SIS cartridge, you need to insert this just like a, a normal set of cartridges. But it's very important that you push down at the front and at the back. Now on the cartridge themselves, there is a locating lug, so when it's actually gone in the printer and you've pushed down, you have to push diagonally down on these to make sure that they're clicked into place. So I'm going to pop it in, and you'll probably hear a click, but it, it, it's likely that it's not in. So if you listen now, yeah, they're all they're all actually in on this time, but there we are. So it's not in. So you basically, yeah, you need to double check and press down firmly, and then push diagonally down on the locating lug just to make sure that it's fully clipped into place. So part way down the ink line is your, your grey arm, so you need to make sure that there's a nice straight loop coming off the ink cartridge and there's no twists or, or turns. That would be no good because you've got all these twists and kinks and it's going to cause all sorts of problems. So you just need to take, take them all out and get a nice loop shape like this. So on the uh, ink line itself or on the clamp You'll see these green adhesive pads, you need to remove them. And this uh, clamp actually gets affixed to the edge here, in the middle and to the edge. I'm going to turn it back over and I'm going to affix it so that my second clamp or my second pad is up to the edge of the printer. I'm going to press down firmly. So we may need to adjust the incline on this uh, on this model. They are set at the factory, but we always recommend that you double check the incline routing. So what you need to do is you need to manually slide the print head all the way over to the left hand side. And what you're actually looking for is a couple of things. One, can it reach the far left? And two is the size of this loop. Now if it can't reach the far left, you need to adjust the incline through the clamps. Uh, if it can reach the far left and you have a big loop like right this, now this could cause problems. Uh, having excess incline, it can get tangled uh, and it also increases the noise on the tapping on the underside of the lid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit tighter just by holding the clamp and pulling the incline. There. So I've just made it a little bit tighter, not too tight or you end up with too much of a, a bend here, but it should be a little bit taut. Just repeat that process backwards and forwards a couple of times. Uh, just to make sure that you're happy with that. Now I'm going to try put the printer on now and it's more than likely going to want to run through the cleaning and charging cycle which I hate on the videos. Now when you uh, first switch it on if it says that it's not recognised you may end up with uh, uh, let's just drop this down you, you may end up with an orange ink light here if that's the case you need to press the ink cartridge change button on the chip uh, there's a little button on the chip you need to press that uh, and it will come over to the middle and, uh, and then you need to repeat repeat pressing it. Now it's not come up so I can't show you that but sometimes uh, it's worth double checking how I installed the cartridges correctly uh, and then perform an ink cartridge change on the chip button uh, and that should sort that out. So for the SIS system itself, now it's very important SIS system sat on the same level as the base of the printer. So this can actually be sat at the side, but before we do, we need to remove the four small flat plugs on top. And what we're actually going to install is some little air filters, which you've got out of your accessory pack. The little air filters look like this. They have a narrow pointed end and a short stubby fat end, and they should be inserted with the narrow pointed end facing upwards. And that will just sit at the side of the uh, the printer, like so. 
So the only other thing we need to do is we need to, uh, this is optional, so within your accessory pack you will have these metal arms. It's entirely up to you whether you want to fit them. The reason it is optional is that when the printer is closed and it's printing like that, this incline will make a tapping noise uh, on the underside of the lid. Uh, this incline here as it goes over. So if you, if, if, if that noise, if you don't like that noise, what you need to do is you need to increase uh, or have the lid slightly open. So again, these are optional, they will be within your pack, you don't have to fit them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop one, one here on this edge. And one over here on this side. And you'll see what that actually does. Yeah, so what that actually does is it keeps the printer lid slightly ajar. Now you can still use the scanner, you can still use everything else, but because the printer lid is slightly ajar, it will decrease the, the noise level of the incline tapping on the underside. So I'm gonna close this and I'm going to perform a nozzle check sheet so I'm just going to load it up with some paper so it's brand new I haven't even done uh, I've done no, no nozzle checks or anything yet so I may have to do uh, a nozzle check sheet but we'll have a look Yeah, so what it's doing is just con con coming up on my screen you're using non-genuine cartridges. Uh, well, I know that already. So it's just performing a nozzle check print. Normally it takes a couple of minutes to run through its uh, charging cycle. Yeah, so what it's doing now, it's doing a head cleaning cycle. It's going to take a couple of minutes for this nozzle check sheet to come out, so just, just bear with me on this one. Uh, please remember with the continuous ink systems, it must be sat on the same level as the base of the printer. So it's still running through its uh, cleaning cycle. So this is uh, this is not part of the uh, normal process. The only reason it's doing a cleaning cycle is because I've told it to uh, run to print a nozzle check sheet, just so you can see a piece of paper coming out with the system installed. So please don't think it's going to do this every time you try and print. So you know it's still actively doing something because the uh, green light is uh, flashing to say it's still doing its cycle. The 
This is the part that I hate on the video, so we're just waiting for it to run. Yeah, so what we need to do, we've got a bit of a black mark on here, we do need to uh, run another one now. That so doesn't surprise me, we've only just set the, uh, the system up and the, it can be common to... Uh, so it needs... Telling me there's no paper which does surprise me. There we are. So we now have a perfect nozzle cheek nozzle print. Uh, and that's it, that's how you install the continuous ink system on the Epson XP225 printer. Thank you.